How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to the very first Mission Impossible. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. How's it going, everybody? Once again, my name is Joe from Joe Reacts TV. And if this is your first time, I'm here to be reacting to the whole Mission Impossible series. I've never seen any of the Mission Impossibles, believe it or not. And I want to get prepared for the new one that comes out. And for me, it's next week. So I'm going to be binge watching all six of the Mission Impossible movies before then. So please enjoy the show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the reaction. Give. All right. What's she doing in the background? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, they're all in the same area. <laughs> Tom Cruise the whole time. That was pretty good makeup for 96. Got the name. Uh, there's the score. It's crazy that I've never seen any of the Mission Impossible movies, and like everyone has to know this theme song. Definitely reminds me of a TV show theme right there. <laughs> that sucks. For security reasons, the knock list is divided in two. This half is useless without its mate. Which okay, good. Code names for your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it, is to obtain photographic proof of the theft. Shadow Black Harmon can hack into any security system. Hannah William, your wife Claire, will and Hunt will be your friend. Hunt. Frog. Ethan, you're going into the embassy in character during a party. Hide in plain sight, highest possible profile. Wouldn't have it any other way. Anything goes wrong, I call abort. Everybody walk away immediately. Any questions? Yeah. Can we get a cappuccino machine in here? I don't know what you call this. <laughs> I call it cruel and unusual. I, I made that coffee. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Again? Now, where did they put you up this time? The plaza? Drake Hotel, Chicago. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> okay, listen. If that list gets out into the open, the names of our agents in every country in Eastern Europe will be up for grabs through the highest bidders. Everybody would love to get rid of long-term culprits like us. I'll run the whole show from the crow's nest here. Everyone knows their roles. Let's punch out the details. There's a camera built right into the bridge. And in now the process, Frank destroy Church. the intelligence case country. Now, I want to know who these people are and how they're spending our taxpayers' money. Stick a gum, right? No. Light, green light. You mash them together. Oh, wow. Hasta lasagna, don't get any onion. You'll have about five seconds. Just don't chew it. <laughs> you don't want to blow off your head. <laughs> I bet you don't remember me. He's in pocket on the stairway. Nice. Look at the couple right there. <laughs> Their faces. <laughs> Your advance team mentioned that, as you can see, there's a marine guard and video surveillance and... Now, Sergeant, why are you not in your uniform this evening? Ah, boy, fellow, as I recall, constantly late. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. That date with Sarah is definitely off. <laughs> Jack, reposition. Jack, I didn't touch it. Go. Oof, close. This is, the, this is the guy that's here to steal the list. Smart to leave the glasses there. He's got it. Jack, we're in position. Open the doors and let the package roll. Roger that. Opening doors now. Go to transport. Hey. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Damn. I don't have control, Jack. Got locked out. And I got a problem. Cut the power. Jack. 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 
Oh, no way. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Right through the eye. There he is. The package is out in the open. He's in the open. Unroped. I've got a shadow. Damn. Can you lose him? No. Abort. He can be out of pocket. Abort! What are you going to do, Ethan? Jim gave an abort. We should walk away. No, we are going to recover that disc. Something's going to happen to Jim, though. He's probably going to be successful. But Jim's going to be in a terrible situation, I bet. Cut all radio communication. Damn, no communication. Oh, dang, Ethan. <laughs> right over the bridge, all right. Damn, Ethan's gonna get her killed, huh? Oh, Ethan's whole team, huh? They're all gonna get taken out. What the heck? Go, Ethan, go. Oh, how did she get roped in? What the heck? <laughs> what? You gotta go, you gotta go, man. Return your phone secured. Designado. Bravo, Echo, one. My team, my team is yeah, dead! Yeah, your whole team. Galitzin's gone. They knew we were coming, man. They knew we were coming, and the disc is gone. Give me green one hour. I'll be there myself. Himself. One hour. Personally, as well as professionally. Yeah. Why was there another team? What? In the embankment at seven yeah. o'clock. I didn't notice them. The couple waltzing around me at the embassy. It's stairs, bow tie, 12 o'clock. You're worried about me. Why? Well, for a little over two years, we've been spotting serious blowback in IMF operations. The list Clifton stole was a decoy. That's correct. The actual list is secure at Langley. This whole operation was a mole hunt. <laughs> the mole's deep inside. And like you said, you survived. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's Ethan. I'll huh? show you some that after all can be a very expensive. Uh, there's the bomb, the gum bomb. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. One, two, three, four, five. He said three seconds, not five. <laughs> Through the window. Oh, the aquarium. Dang, he's fast. Oh, the poor fishies. Where's... The Holy Bible. Job 3.14. Uh, all right. Let's go get up oh what the heck Jim is he hallucinating this are oh, the rest of the members gonna come up yeah is that actually happening where how do you survive I saw you you were in Four That's true, he did say that. I've been disavowed. I can't find him, but if he knows I have a knock list, he'll find me. <laughs> All right, Ethan. You wish to meet Max? 
Your max? I need $150,000. Why not? You gave Job one hundred twenty-five. <laughs> the disc Job sold you. It's worthless. It's bait. I'm sure you could arrange an introduction. The one you have is not only worthless, it's certain to be equipped with a homing device to pinpoint your exact location. <laughs> Her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean it's a signal. He wasn't wrong. All right, they made it out. A lot of secret doors. There's transportation. What can we do, Barnes? Put a guy at the airport. These guys are trained to be ghosts. We taught them to do it, for Christ's sake. Well, what do you suggest? To make him come to us. Everybody has pressure points, as far as you find something that's personally important to him and you squeeze. What is your deal with Job? Um, six million dollars. I'll give you the same, but I want the complete list now. Not... Ten million in negotiable U.S. Treasury certificates and bearer form coupons attached. Your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Mm. <laughs> One pair of visco glasses with monitor. Are you sure about this? Jim was my husband. I want to get the son of a bitch who did this. I need some help. What kind of help? Four players. Exfil opens the pocket. Cyberops lifts the wall. What did they used to call you? The Net Ranger? Phineas Freak? <laughs> the only man alive who actually hacked NATO Ghost Cop. There was never any physical evidence that I had anything to do with that. That exceptional piece of work. <laughs> Even with top of the line crypto. Free access to three. Trigger can get it. 24 hours. <laughs> I just can't hack my way inside. Physically I there, have yeah. to be physically at the terminal. It's much worse than you think. <laughs> the terminal is in a black vault lockdown. The first is a voice print identification. Next, he has to pass a retinal scan. Inside the black vault, there are three systems operating. Even the body heat of an unauthorized person in the room will trigger it if the temperature rises. Wow. Sensitive. The slightest increase in weight will trigger the alarm. All three systems are state of the art. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. <laughs> da -da -da. We're in the CIA headquarters, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Good work, Let's hacker. Go. Let's move. What is his name? Luther? Fire alarm, Gene. Do we have to evacuate? There were three of you. Where's the other guy? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put a tracker on him. Three. Toast. Toast. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Gonna come into play later, huh? He's gonna have to sneeze. Man, that's crazy. He's gonna have to work upside down, hanging, trying to keep his temperature the same, not sweat. Dude, this guy needs to look up or just look down at the reflection. Oh, oh he is out of it. Oh, wow. Nine, six, <laughs> he is struggling. Oh no. No. Yeah, he's already struggling and now <laughs> rat. <laughs> 
No, you idiot. Oh, that was close. The bomb pulled up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, you don't want to drip a sweat on the floor. Oh, no. But catch it with your hand. Like, no space. Oh, what a catch. Is that the fault? Thanks for saying it now. Ah, oh, poor rat. <laughs> Oof. That's true. It came off the wheel. Can't move it. Toast. Messy. No, you idiot. You gonna catch her with his foot or something? No, that's too far. Oh. Go, go, go. Close it. Does that knife have their DNA, though? Oh my god. <laughs> yep, we gotta go, we gotta go. I can't believe they made it out. Especially with this guy. <laughs> Struggling with the rat. You and I know about this. That's where it stops. You understand? It never happened. <laughs> Bro, see, he's working. Oh my god. You're not going to any meeting without me. I don't think you're in any position to give orders. Holding this. Krieger. Thank you. Give <laughs> me this. That's not the least. Oh, what's the matter? You, you've never seen this trick. <laughs> Where is it? Do you actually think I'd let you have the Nyquist? Try any slight hand with my money, I'll cut your throat. <laughs> Jim is Job, huh? Is Clara part of it though? I'm going to try and get some sleep. Krieger did have the Nyquist. <laughs> wow. I want you to hold on to it. What makes you trust me? Because if you knew what you were getting into, you never would have done it. True. I'm not going to let this get out in the open. Federal agents. <laughs> found the Mom off to jail in shackles was an especially nice touch. He's in England. Get in my five. Ethan, I want to assure you that my first order of. Austin. We needed three more seconds. He wanted us to know he was in London. Jim. Is he just seeing things again? Is that actually him? A hard man to catch up with. Actually, next day I managed to drag myself back to the safe house. Who it was Kittredge? Kittredge is the one. Oh my god, of course, you're right. No, Jim, don't be she played, Ethan. First, he took out Jack. <laughs> Freaking Jim. Oh, yeah, the same knife. <laughs> wow. Tying everything together. Freaking Claire, no. No, I could have done the hand wipes. Why, Jim? When you think about it, Ethan, it was inevitable. No more Cold War. You wake up, the President of the United States is running the country without your permission. And 62 grand a year. Oof. I should get no love, Ethan. No one can. Not until this is over. <laughs> Bruh. You should be mourning, Jim. He just died last night.
Gene. All the players gonna be here on this train. Wonder this how this weighs out. My apologies, Max. Damn. <laughs> of course. Wouldn't worry about him when you get the money. He'll find you. Would he recognize Claire? I'll try it. Try it again. Damn it! I've got to get this through before we hit the channel. Nice. Okay, so that's how they're gonna play it off. What's the problem? Make sure she doesn't get it. Laptops. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Your telephone. Hello. 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 Let's trust the battery is gone. Damn. It's working. Freaking waiter. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna be a 2v1 here. Jim and Claire versus Ethan. Yeah, not weird at all, this guy trying to break in. Ethan's right behind me. We take the money. Ethan takes the blame. Spickable. No one else has seen you alive. Except for Ethan. Ah, damn! We found the moles. It's kind of cool that that came around Bruce, again. I'm very sorry to hear you say that, Claire. Ethan Hunt, darling, you remember him, don't you? <laughs> you knew about Jim. Of course. Just exactly when he knew is something of a question. Before or after I showed up in London? Before London. Before, okay. But after you took the Bible from the Drake Hotel in Chicago. Oh, duh, yeah. That's when we realized. I stabbed it, didn't I? <laughs> Let's just get the money and get out of here. No, Claire was wrong about one thing, Jim. Oh. <laughs> Just taping the whole time. Oh, there we go. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> Yep. Gotta get that weapon from him. Don't Jim. Oh, why would you shoot Claire? Damn. R.I.P. Claire. Sounds like a helicopter. Go, go, go. Okay, no helicopter. Oh, there is. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> oh, that freaking guy. And you just announce you're here. There's the tunnel. Gotta let go, gotta grab onto him. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're screwed, buddy. Can you detach from the helicopter side? Probably not. You gotta abort something, you're done. Later, buddy. There's no way he's flying this heli in the tunnel. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. The heck is that? A blade? Oh, you idiot. I'm surprised it lasted this long, that helicopter. Okay, well, not to last because Ethan can die here. There's the music. Oh, the gum. <laughs> oh, you're done, buddy. Oh. He, oh. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? <laughs> right? Hello, Max. My lawyers are going conflict. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave the courts out of this one. Hmm? Folks, how they feeling? About what? Oh, nice. You know, an apology from the Justice Department, VIP treatment, you know, the whole nine yards. Cheers. To you, Luther. 
Why don't you come back with me? I just... I just don't know why I'd be doing it. I'm gonna miss being disreputable. <laughs> well, Luther, if it makes you feel any better, I'll always think of you that way. <laughs> no. No more missions. Oh. No, thank you. Would you consider the cinema of the Caribbean? Aruba, perhaps. <laughs> All right, we need Mission Impossible too. Alrighty, that was Mission Impossible 1. That was a pretty fun movie. I quite liked it. So this was my first introduction into Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt. I could definitely see the mystique and the reason why people love this series so much. I definitely love the CIA spy political thrillers that this story told. We see at the beginning, Ethan with his group on a mission to follow the person that's supposed to be stealing the knock list. But we later learn that it was actually a dummy mission to find the mole. And in this practice led to the death of everyone on Ethan's team, except for Claire. And then the cool turn later on, it kind of seeded a lot of these points, whether it was the Bible, Jim staying at the Chicago hotel or whatnot. That was the big hint that led Ethan to figuring out that the mole or Job was Jim. So I'm glad we got that realization at the end when Jim and Ethan were talking. It was kind of connecting the points in his head, but playing it off that it was actually Krieger who was the mole. And then the fake out at the end where we're thinking both Blair and Jim were going to confront Ethan at the baggage claim room, but they tricked us all by implementing Ethan's disguise trick that he's been doing since the beginning of the movie where he dressed up exactly like jim i don't know how he got that so quickly but he did he was able to trick claire and figure out whether claire was in on it or not which he did find out jim pops out he kills claire for some reason even though she was down with the plan just not killing ethan and then we get this crazy sequence on the top of the train with jim calling a helicopter who was flown by the guy that was helping Ethan on his mission to steal the knock list at the CIA headquarters. Apparently he was the one that was at the gate and stabbed Sarah, I believe is what her name was. But you could definitely tell a lot of CGI was used, which obviously you can't really do that practically. But to my understanding, a lot of the later movies, I think from Mission Impossible 3 or 4, that's when Tom Cruise wanted to step the reality up and actually physically do these stunts. So I'm quite excited to eventually jump into those and see how good those look because yeah, practical is always better. And I'm curious to see where this journey goes because yeah, there's six total movies and I want to get through all of them before I watch them on this coming Monday, which is July 10th. So I need to hustle up and watch the rest of the five. Overall, I really enjoyed the story. I like Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt and I'm curious to see if Tom is going to work with the CIA again for Mission Impossible 2. Other than that, that is all I have. If you have any questions or theories, please leave them in the comment section below. My boy, Joey, is the editor for this video. And if you're in need of an editor, please check out the description below and his email will be there. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.